Greetings brethren, Hausburger Donkey here, and I just wanted to make a super super quick video uh, showing you the before picture of the uh, amount of miniatures I'm about to embark on. So ignore uh, these five, these two necromancers, the two reapers, and this little guy, but everything else is what I'm gonna go, uh, what I'm gonna paint in the next couple of days. Uh, these six metal skeletons, and then 90 plastic skeletons, or well, more like 89, because, you know, the test model is already painted. Um, in terms of the test model, I wanted to also say uh, thank you very much for all the replies. There's been so, so many, and after reading them all, and after uh, some sort of um, introspection uh, and uh, sleeping on it, I have decided that I am actually going to go for both in a mixed capacity. So uh, they're going to have a mix of gear. Some of them are going to... I'm going to try to keep it sort of per man. Uh, so if the guy has bronze equipment, he'll have, you know, bronze equipment minus the weapon. Um, but if they have metal uh, or iron equipment, they won't have any bronze equipment. And uh, yeah, that way I'll sort of um, diversify the army a bit. Reason is because I like both. Uh, I've never really painted tarnished bronze, so I kind of want to try it. Uh, visually, from the test models, I vastly prefer the rusty iron. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I want to tr try and see if I can make the bronze look uh, better than what I did in my first attempt yesterday. So, uh, that's, that's part of the reason. Um, yeah. And the other part of the... The other reason is, of course, that... Uh, a lot of people seem to suggest that, you know, both would be would be the best. And uh, I, I think I kind of agree. I think it'll give the skeleton horde some variety that it might otherwise lack. And uh, also, while painting the test... I kind of made the decision that I was o only going to go with one type of metal before I painted the test models. And then having painted both of them in two hours, including drying time... I think I'm going to get through these really, really quickly, no matter, uh, you know, if I use one or both types of metal. So, yeah, I think that's that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully I'll get through these in just a couple of days. Um, I mean, you can see there's also 10 archers there. 20 archers there in the back with 10 of the War Games Atlantic ones and then another 10 archers in the front. So we only have really uh, 60 melee skeletons and 40 skeleton archers, which means um, a lot of these are going to go even quicker because, you know, they have less metal stuff on them, really just what comes on the skeleton. So, yeah, should be pretty good. And hopefully I get through it as fast as possible, uh, because then hopefully next week at some point I get the parcel from uh, Leon T66, uh, which will contain 40 of the Forgotten World zombies, and I have another 20 that I bought, and then I'll paint those 60 zombies next, uh, send him his 40 back, and have 20 more for myself, which will leave me with uh, two units of 20 zombies slash ghouls. And uh, I will be very close to completion already. So I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be enough for all of December. I might have to. I might have to dip in another project that has something dead in it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll see how long this takes me. All right. Thank you for watching. And uh, well, I'll keep you posted about my December progress. Goodbye.